cold places, there are lots of ways to stay warm. And in hot places, there are lots of ways to stay cool. Even in comfortable climates, many of the buildings where we live and work have a central heating system to regulate temperatures. However, this convenience comes at an environmental cost. Most systems depend on burning fossil fuels, and these release greenhouse gases and other forms of pollution. Luckily, there are more environmentally friendly ways of heating and cooling a building. One of these ways is geothermal heat exchange. A building with a geothermal system takes advantage of the fact that the Earth's temperature stays relatively constant a few feet below the surface. It also relies on the fact that heat will normally travel from warm to cool areas, equalizing over time. A geothermal system is made of pipes, which are laid in loops in the ground. Fluid flows through the pipes to a heat exchanger. This is a very important device which uses electricity to reverse the normal flow of heat so that it moves from cool areas to warm areas. Let's take a look at a geothermal system in action. When the weather turns cold, the heat exchanger takes the heat out of the circulating fluid, which is still cooler than the house, and puts that heat into the building, making it nice and toasty. The circulating fluid then runs back through the loop. Since the fluid lost its heat to the building, it is now cooler than the surrounding earth. Heat will naturally move from the ground to the fluid, warming it back up. The fluid then continues to flow through the loops back to the heat exchanger, where it will again lose its heat to the building. But what happens when the temperature outside rises? In that case, the system is reversed. The heat exchanger takes heat out of the building so that it cools down inside. The heat that was taken out is put into the circulating fluid, the fluid is now warmer than the surrounding earth, so it loses its heat as it flows through the ground. The heat exchanger and the circulation pumps for this system require electricity, but those are its only energy requirements. If a source of renewable energy was used to power these devices, a geothermal system could heat or cool a building with no greenhouse gas emissions. Just think of the possibilities.